down to, and this is what I would say, you guys, right? If I was to react to, you know, uh, uh, the Kendrick diss, right? I would say I can cut right through the chase. As a man from the streets, as a man that deals with police accountability and deal with systems, right? The most important thing, and then I would preference it, and I would say the reason why we love Pac so much, the reason why we love Tupac so much is the statement that I'm about to make to you, right? And this is ultimately the greatest statement that's going to be made and should be observed that is going to be the deciding factor, right? Do you remember when Vanilla Ice, some of you guys are too young, Vanilla Ice, Ice came out, Ice Ice Baby and all that. And when they found out that he wasn't authentic, right, he lost a certain amount of value, right? Right now, people are not being authentic and they're still being able to get on a little bit, right? But... The ultimate question is what I would say. If you want to know the ultimate question that settles everything as far as hip hop, as far as, far as black culture, as far as the politics behind it, right? As far as the people, the ultimate question, what that's being asked Right. And Kendrick is not asking it the way that I would ask it, but he's asking it in his way. Right. So the ultimate question would be. If there was a race war. Even if because if there's a race war, black people are not going to win based upon the power that is on the side of white people, right? The military and the, the weapon tree and all that, right? But that's not what I'm talking about. The question in the back of your mind, you would ask, if there was a race war, whose side would Kendrick be on? And whose side do you think Drake would be on? That right there, that is the ultimate separator, which is why we love pop. Because you would never deny, even if we lose the war, even if we lose the war, you would never question where Pac's going to stand. And see, that brings the validity. There it is there. That's the validity. When it comes down to it, do you really represent us? See, that's what's being asked, right? When it really comes down to it, do you just appeal to the elite, right? Do you appeal to the elite or does the lowest guy in the ghetto feel that you would stand with him? That's where the love comes from, from Pac, right? That the lowest guy in the ghetto knows Pac would be right on these streets riding with us. <laughs> see that's what i would be doing from my perspective what would be we ain't talking about entertainment right now there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, uh famous people who are entertainers and all this kind of stuff but when it comes down to it do we believe you do we believe that you are authentic in your love for us as a people See, that's what the questioning is. Do we believe or do you try to use that just to further yourself, just to get more money? You right? You try to put those things on your hair, you know, like those barrettes and stuff to try to look hard. You try to. Are you insulting us? Or is it in? in, in are you insulting us? See, if I did it, it'd be a whole different story, right? That's the question, right? When he says that, no, you a scammer, right? Because it's not really in you. Here you are. Keep writing cis, desist letters, cease and desist letters about songs that you feel uncomfortable about because it's challenging that idea. And see, I don't know Drake, but these people I've had dealing with him. They have seen him behind the scenes. There's something going on. There's something happening. Do you understand what I'm saying, Remnant? There's something happening.